What's up, YouTube? Oh, man, I'm standing out here on the sunny side of the bus this morning. But I gotta tell you, Jack Frost was here last night. Man, the pickup was frozen over. It got down to 31 degrees. And it was like, oh, all heaters on board, baby. <laughs> I'm so glad we put that diesel heater in the back. So, uh, yeah, that's working really good. So today I'm going to try to help Doug and Sandy with uh, with their seats and their bus and their kitchenette or their, I don't know what you call it, where you sit and have dinner together. Little kitchen table, I guess, kitchen booth. Anyhow, we uh, earlier we changed out the seats that were in there and Doug, Doug got some boat seats. So he put boat seats in the bus, BB baby. Oh, three Bs. B, 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 baby. Boat seats in a bus, baby. <laughs> Anyhow, well, we got them in there, and uh, basically it was really hard to tell how they were going to work out because, I mean, you can look at everything online forever, but sometimes when you order the stuff online, uh, you know, until you get it in hand and try it, you don't know exactly what you're going to have or how it's going to work. So they've been installed for three or four days, and uh, now Doug's decided that he wants to elevate the back cushions up. So I'm gonna help him build some simple plywood riser blocks that will elevate that back cushion and maybe get him a little bit more comfortable than, than they are right now. And if it doesn't work, we can always default and just take the blocks out and put them right back where they were. So it's really nothing ventured, nothing gained. So. Uh, I'll just take you guys along. I'll go show you where they're at now and what we're trying to achieve. So here's what we have now. And the cushions before, they pretty much came all the way up here. But these boat cushions don't. So as simple as this looks, we spent a good day. <laughs> cutting out these tubs because these come with the uh, tub on the bottom of them. See that? You get that plastic base. And we had to cut out and work around to get the diesel heater in there and also the vent that we have back here into the main area. We had to get that back in. So we got all that done and basically now i think the final step is going to be to raise them up but anyhow we'll see how it goes and i'll keep you guys on the loop here so let's go check our materials out where be the materials master what'd you like you're on candid camera hello there <laughs> i want the plywood oh it's right there man i walked in there twice and i didn't see that piece of plywood sitting there Oh, she's a beauty, too. All right. Perfect. So these are ready to go in as soon as that paint flashes off a little bit more. Okay. Well, I'm standing out here behind the bus, um, staging my tools, because we're going to try to get that seating area in Doug and Sandy's bus finished up today. 
But man, uh, we wanted to do yoga outside this morning and it's cold, people. It's amazing to me how it can get up to 80 or 85 and in the morning it's 31 degrees. I'm standing here because if you see the wind sock, this is the only place the wind ain't blowing right behind the bus here. So I'm staging up my tools back here and this is my window of non-windy area right here. <laughs> Okay guys, here's where we're at now with the uh, boat chairs and a bus situation. Just want to thank Randy so much for being such a good guy and helping Doug do this. Oh, thank you. She's camera shy. <laughs> so, now what we're, where we're at is we're going to put a radius on these corners to make it easier to get in and out of the booth. And then up here, we got to do a little bit of work. So we got to fix this board. So see, it needs a backer. But look, she's got a new socket there where she can put all her cleaning supplies in there. Yeah, so we got now we got this cubby hole we created here. And um, we basically need to put a stringer across the back of it here. And we need to put some cleats on the underneath of the countertop so it'll plug in here and not shuffle off. And it's one popsicle stick low from this ledge back here. And we need to do a little bit of work on this cord. So we're going to free that up a little bit. Oh, and then we got to do we got to do some more. We had to put shims on the cleats on the back of the table. So the cleats up there, we shimmed them out so they worked easier. And we just got to make a permanent shim because we just kind of threw a temporary one in there to make sure it was going to work. So we should be done with this in an hour, right? Yeah, tops. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's man speak for we'll be at this all day. <laughs> oh, the challenge is out there. One hour. Okay, let's get after it. He's got the tools for the job. There we go. Now that thing cannot get pinched. All right. So all we got to do is stick that other board in there, right? You got it right there. Yeah, we can open that up too. Okay. I'll tell you a trick. Okay. Take it out of there. Take it out. Run your screw through. Just put your screw in there like you're screwing it into the wall and run it through. No, let it come out. Run it all the way till it comes out. You got it all the way out. Now just back it up. No, no, now back it up till it's even. Now do that to the other three screws before you even put it in there. And then all you got to do is stick it in there and zippity zap, bim bam, boozle. We're going to lift that up a little bit? No, uh, put it flush put with it the flush. other one because we'll put the shim all the way across. Or it'll be hard to shim it. Yes, we have Operation Popsicle planned here, people, but we're not to it yet. Not quite there yet. See that black mark on the shank? When it's right there, you're there. Okay, but I'm pulling it out of shape on this side. Oh, you got a twist in it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 
Yeah, you're done. Right. Can we just shift one block? That's why I just tacked them in there. We can move a, it's front to back that's tight, huh? Or are we just tight everywhere? Dang, man, that's a good fit. I think all we got to do is go taper those things a little bit. like a glove let's just go loosen it up a little bit now you thinking it's gonna be okay just like that because you want it to have a pretty tight fit yeah, just pull out it's easy to operate Put it right in there. once you're used to it smack it in there it's all good all right let's go put the other screws in it then it's good it's good all right now you can stick the chair back back in there huh this is pretty cool because you guys see how that, can you show them that on the bottom, Doug, real quick? See, it's just got those two bolts that go through those two slots back there and it's easy. Oh yeah, that looks good. And now good, I love, good, I love good. the way these open up now too. They open up easy to get down it down in there okay while he's bolting that down i'm gonna go turn on the table Okay, guys, we got her done. We got the corner of the tables radiused off so you don't snag up on it. Had to do a little screw hole repair there, but you can't hardly even notice that. So this is back in place, and you can just pick it up, access that cubby, and it fits in there quite snug. So, that's awesome. So, you're happy, right? I'm a happy guy. Doug's happy. I'm happy. Doug's happy. So, everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for watching all this silliness, you guys. Hope you have uh, good luck with all of your projects. Lots of friends. Lots of love in your life to share, it, share with them. And have an awesome day. See you later. Mm -hmm.